right, Labor Day weekend is often a time when friends and family gather for barbecues and fun outdoor activities. But as the triple E virus continues to be a threat here in Michigan, it's important to take steps to protect yourself and loved ones from this potentially deadly virus. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with more on why only some mosquitoes carry this virus. Doctor? Yes, so Dave, that's correct. Only certain mosquito species are capable of transmitting this virus from infected birds to human and horses. They're more often found in swamp and bog areas, but anyone who spends a lot of time outdoors or lives in wooded areas should take extra precautions. Now, if you do get bitten by one of these mosquitoes, know that only about 4 to 5 percent of human infections result in this Triple E illness. It's a rare but very, very dangerous virus that can result in severe inflammation of the brain and has a 33 percent fatality rate. And for those who do survive, they can be left with permanent brain damage, seizures, paralysis, personality disorders, and cranial nerve dysfunction. So not good at all. Wow. How soon do people get sick after getting bitten by an infected mosquito? So Heather, if you're bitten by an infected mosquito, it can take between 4 to 10 days for symptoms to actually start. You may have chills, fever, weakness, and joint pains. Now, less than 1% of infected folks will develop symptoms of neurological illness, which include headache, convulsions, which are seizures, and coma. Those most at risk for serious infection are kids and adults over 60 and anyone with a weak immune system. The unfortunate side of the virus is that there are no antiviral treatments and no human vaccine either. All right, so we know to protect ourselves against mosquitoes, uh, one way to do it is to wear bug spray, but there are different kinds. So given this issue, which one is best, Doc? Great question, Dave. So you want EPA-approved insect repellents that contain any of these key ingredients. That's DEET, Picardin, IR3535, oil of lemon, eucalyptus, paramethane diol, and 2-undecanone. And remember, if you are also using sunscreen, apply that first and do not spray it on your skin and then put clothes over it. Speaking of clothes, I recommend you wear long sleeves and long pants, especially if you're near swamps, forests, or bog areas. So important stuff. We can, we'll can stay on top of this and give you any updates that come up. All right, Super great important. advice, Doc. Thanks so much. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And tune in this Sunday for an all-new Dr. Nandy show. This week he'll be discussing the new age of parenting and raising well-balanced children in our digital world. That's this Sunday at 1 p.m.